What's up, y'all? This is Henny. Now, you know I had to go in and check out this iPad OS Beta 1 to see how real it is and how real it's going to be in the future. I read a few articles online said, yo, do not install that Beta 1. It's very buggy. But you know me, I am a beta tester. I do the things for y'all to let y'all know how far we can take this. And today I want to show you just how far we might be able to go using the Files app, using Safari, all the things that us videographers, content creators, musicians, producers are really excited about with iPadOS. So let's go in and, and figure out, see exactly what we can do with this new update. Let's go! <laughs> All right, so check it. I have been playing around with this for the last day and a half, two days, and I can tell you it is buggy as hell. Um, some things have worked, some things won't work again. I do not know how to make it consistent, but I have been able to make some things work. So let's go in and let me show you what I've been able to do. So right now you can see I'm running iPad OS Beta 1. Um, I got it installed on my iPad mini 5 and I've been trying to figure out what adapters work what things have uh, Given me some hiccups and how we can make this even better in the future So if I'm to go to the files app, I have it actually in dark mode. So um, So you can see when I go up top and I hit the edit sidebar. I've um, enabled Google Drive audio share documents iCloud Drive and what's on my iPad, right? So now, let me grab a few things here. So first things first, I have some files, I have some footage on this um, SD card. Let's see exactly what happens when I plug this in and what I can do with it. Once I plug it in, it's giving me this thing called error name. I'm not really sure why it says that, but whatever. I go in here, I go into DCM. These are my Fuji XT3 files, right? So automatically, I'm thinking to myself, can I just drag and drop like I would like to, like it was on a laptop? So if I was to hit a file and go up here, I get this air. Not sure why I get this air, but I don't get it all the time because I've been able to actually copy files over and copy files back from the SD card. So let me be honest with you. I have successfully done that, being able to take files, drag them to what's on my iPad, and it copied over. Um, I actually took some files and what I did was I went into LumaFusion, I went into user media and I actually created, um, you know, a folder and I was able to drag over some audio. So the good thing about it is um, dealing with the files app, I know that you're going to be able to see all the files that's on your hard drives, all the files that's on your SD cards, um, as long as they're working properly with the files app. Now take for some... Take for instance something like this Hutu uh, Lightning SD card. When I plug this in, let me take this out. When I plug this in, it still wants me to connect directly to the uh, uh, PlugMate app. And so I do that, I allow it, and it's gonna show the files there. But if I go into files, it doesn't show that drive on the files browse side. So what I have been able to do is take uh, my files, whether they were Fuji, whether they were Sony, whether they were Panasonic, I've tried quite a few that I've had uh, either on a hard drive or on an SD card and it has worked. All right, so this thing is, <laughs> so this thing is actually quite frustrating right now, but I can tell you that I can see the future and it looks quite dope. Just to show you that things do copy over as well as copy to the device. Let me see if I can get that working too. So before I had to use a few things. Either I was using this WD My Passport wireless SSD or I used something like this RAV Power uh, wireless hub where I could get my files onto my device, but it was always a wireless situation. Now, being able to sit here, go in, plug it directly and see the files, uh, being able to drag uh, to the device and be able to drag from the device is gonna change everything. So now, let's see here. I have a file that I took right here from this H2N, which is awesome, because before I had to either plug it into something like the RAV4 or the uh, the WD to be able to get the files off. And it was sluggish and it was slow and it took a while. Now I just took the SD card out of here, 
Um, let me see if I can get that working. Let me take the SD card from the Zoom, plug it in. So I'm gonna go to this H2N. I'm gonna go to four stereo, look at my folders. Let me see if I can find some files here. Here we go. All right, so this is a file that I've had from the H2N. I'm just gonna drag that onto my iPad and you can see it's starting to go and it's done, right? Now I can take that file, um, I can actually go here and move it to, on my iPad, user media tracks, I go to move. Now I've moved that into the folder that's in LumaFusion. So now if I go to LumaFusion and uh, I go into the tracks folder, you can see that I, that file is now there and it's easily to be used. Such a seamless process when it works. Now, I've had a lot of situations where things didn't work. Now, let's see about taking that file and putting it back on to a, uh, a SD card or, or a drive. Now, I go to LumaFusion, go to User Media, Tracks. I've had these two tracks. Um, I'm going to take this track and I'm going to drag it back. Now, you can see it's copying back to the SD card. Now, when this thing starts to work and it doesn't give us any bugs, this thing is going to be amazing. Uh, whether you're using this for uh, audio files, video files, um, or any type of files that you might need, this thing is really going to take it to the next level when it comes to productivity. And so I try these things, they've worked, they haven't worked, it's buggy, but I'm telling you, within the future, this thing should be pretty solid. Now, as, as far as uh, downloading files, I've been able to get some to work and some to got not work as well. So if I, I reload Looperman, you know, let's say I want a file from Looperman, I can go to download. It's gonna give me a pop-up window that says, you know, do you wanna download this wave? And I'll hit download and um, it'll show you that it's trying to download. So I've, I haven't had as much success. I've had some to download, some just stall like this. But I know in the future it'll stay, it'll download, and then what happens is you go back into files. Is it iCloud Drive? Downloads. Not entirely sure exactly where the documents are going to be in files when you download something uh, from Safari, but I can tell you that if you do download something, you are able to either share it to other apps from Safari. I've gotten that to work so. These couple of things, Safari, files, being able to get files in and off this device changes your productivity so much. And um, yeah, that's that's my update. iPad OS Beta 1 as it relates to us videographers, you know, photographers, uh, musicians, creatives who are trying to get more files onto the device and maybe even backup files off the device to other hard drives to be able to save you space. You know, now if you're, you know, wanted to buy a smaller iPad and, and invest in more hard drives, maybe some SSD drives that are a little bit more rugged and durable, you're gonna be able to do those things and not have to worry so much about having to get the biggest iPad to uh, to do you all your needs. So hopefully you got a little something from that. I'm showing you this beta is buggy, but it is working and I've got it to work with numerous files, music files, WAV files, MP3 files, Sony files, Fuji files, Panasonic GH5 files. Um, I've been trying to get some 4K60 files to work. Some, it's just not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm hoping that it's still going to be um, uh, available to drag and drop just like all the other files. I haven't got that to work as of yet, but um, hopefully within the next couple months, as this uh, beta gets more into the final stages, we're gonna see some ways that we can really make this thing happen. So that's it iPad OS Beta 1, very buggy but working like it should when it does. I don't know. Catch y'all next time. And I'm out!